American dream, American dream. I don't know if people understand what is American dream. Comes a lot of hard work and sacrifice. This is what people want, so we go for it every day. My dad said, if I'm very soon, I'm going to be the CEO of the company. I can say DF is the best Nigerian food in New York City. My name is God Shelter. I am the founder of DF Nigerian Food Truck, a company of divine flavored catering. My name is Bisola, God Shelter wife. One jollof fries and fish and order of plantain, please. The truck has been running for about four years. This location has been running for seven, eight years of catering. This is Elijah and this is Adasa and this is Toby. Very helpful. So they're always helping out. The truck is open every day, Monday through Friday, located on uh, 828 Second Avenue in front of the Nigerian Consulate. Well, we have a lot of bunch of Nigerian food we sell. When they look into the menu and they see so much varieties, it kind of thrills them and they don't believe we have them. Yam porridge, we have jello fries, that is the number one selling. This is tomato based rice. Comes with curry, thyme, habanero pepper. This is the best jello ever. The second one is called moi moi. That one is number one too. That's the moi moi. Peeled steamed honey beans. She makes the moi moi. She is an expert on, at that. This dodo is a plantain and chicken gizzard in red bell pepper sauce. The Nigerian food, it has a gig of spice to it. That flavor has to be there. It cannot taste flat. I know that this food is not just for Nigerians. It's for the whole world. I'm from Ogun State, Abelkuta. I'm mixed. I'm Ghana and Nigeria. Back home, my mom is, uh, is a chef. So I tell my husband, I think I, I grab it from, from her. I went to the uh, lottery and I come back to this country. I started off as a baker. This is back in Nigeria when I was in high school. There's this orphanage, uh, Hearts of the Father Outreach. They brought me here and uh, that was in 2001. We met back in 2006. Somebody introduced that to me and that was it. We got married three months after we met. <laughs> when you come to America for the first time, you've been thrown in the middle of the ocean to swim. Or hell, you're just gonna drown, and that's it. Once you drown, the, the, the old dream is shattered. When I got here, about a few months down the line, I got the job at Zebra. I was just all over the kitchen, from making rotisserie chicken to marinating all the, all the dishes. At lunch hour, I would sit down, and I would see UPS truck getting loaded up with food that is gonna be shipped across the country. And I was just saying to myself, there's no one doing this in my community. I can do it. Service is ready, yes. Service. At my 10th anniversary at Zebra's, I said, that's it. I'm going to start my own. We always package the food, we take it to the church. And there is a one sister who just meet us that, oh, UK can go to the embassy. They meet like good cooking people like this. So why don't you go there? We cook a lot of different kind of food. We show it to them, then try everything. So wow! So we need you guys here. Yeah. We don't have permit, so they just call us, give us the order. So we just package all the food we give it to them. We did that for like three years out of our minivan. The food is pre-made, so all we're doing is we're just delivering the food. So if any officer come to us, oh, what are you doing? Oh, we're just delivering the food, and they like they just walk away. That's it. Guys, I have a new ticket, number eighty-five. Okay. We met one guy who had the truck and he wanted to sell it. We bought the truck from him and uh, that's the rest it. Is history. Exactly. <laughs> so here I am today from one truck to the next and uh, to the next and to the next. It's an amazing journey. <laughs> We've had customers that have been with us for 10, 12 years. They've been with us, they're very loyal to us. Why did they keep coming back to us? Consistency. The food tastes the same all the time. It reminds us of home. Because a lot of people come in here and they look for Nigerian food, so the truck is like a lifesaver for everyone who comes by. Yo, thank you, sir. Most times I'm here by 4 o'clock in the morning. Then the first cook comes in at 5. He starts putting his stuff together. We already do a lot of prepping. So, two hours to put the food truck uh, meal together. 
and then uh, the truck leaves here at 8.30 to go to the city. You're gonna be tough to live in New York. If you're not tough, you can't be here. This is definitely not for you, you know? Get to the city about uh, 9, uh, 9.15. So we are right here, 828 2nd Avenue. Hey! It's right here, bro. <laughs> we did it together, my brother. <laughs> Right now, we're going to be taking online orders. And then between 11 and 1, that's when the place gets really, really busy. So over here, we have the jollof rice. We sell 50 to 70 pounds of this on a daily basis. And that is a lot of rice. The jollof rice and the gold. This is the first thing people should try when they come to the truck. Top selling. <laughs> People come to the truck just for this. If we sell out, oh wow, it's a big problem. So we see a lot of people like, even if you don't go one day, they'll be calling. The close to the is like, oh my gosh. They'll just call all the phone from me like, what? So this is really crazy. This is what they really want. He's an amazing guy, the food is good. I'm quite sure my Ghanaian brothers and sisters might take offense to this, but I will say, you can't beat Nigerian jollof rice. We are the best jollof rice in the entire universe. Okay, 3375, please. It does remind me of, uh, of Africa. You just have to get a pounded yam and god meat. You enjoy it, you like it. So, my favorite is jollof rice. And I also like the yam sauce and snail. That's what I'm getting actually. <laughs> the perfect snail. It's amazing. It's really nice. Everyone coming to the truck. Right there, you see the connection coming together. For us, it's a business we have to run. Even though we have little children when we started, we have to push. We work like seven days a week. Even when we're down, we seek results, we have to push. Overall, we work for like uh, 5 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. And then on weekends, we do catering. I personally wanted to succeed, and that's the key. She also want the business to grow. So both of us understand this and we pursue it on a daily basis. It's a lot of hard work, it's a lot of sacrifice, but it's worth it for us. Oh my goodness, oh, it's been busy like crazy. Now that the business is successful, we want more of, of much bigger achievement. Shipping the food across the country, that would be like the, the, the big of the deal for us because that's what we want to do. The kids, uh, you know, they, they, they all have what they want to do. However, I believe they're going to be the one to hone the business down the line. 